A city on the rise will soon be the headquarters of a tech company. As News Channel 5's Sina Sleem reports, this move will bring nearly 150 new jobs to Franklin. Bringing more tech jobs to Middle Tennessee, the company says they will bring more than 140 jobs to Williamson County. Anytime the state of Tennessee can recruit a new headquarters, that's always one of the big wins. Integrated biometric technology, known as IBT, is investing $2.3 million in Williamson County. This is about when we show up at the airport or whenever we're asked to be ID'd or where a company wants to have extra layer of security, it's about the biometrics. And that is, again, identifying and mapping the genes in the eye and the fingerprints. IBT was originally founded in 1999. After the 9-11 attacks, the company partnered with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security on biometric enrollment and state criminal history checks. Really great high paying family wage jobs, a couple of million dollars of capital investment, and this is a cutting edge technology. Bob Rolf is the Tennessee Department of Economic and Community Development Commissioner. Our very pro-business approach to companies. And I say that to you when you take the state and you look at our data, we, ha we have no personal income tax, which is very important. He says he noticed a trend in which more and more technology companies are choosing to locate their operations in Middle Tennessee. And then you talk about the quality of life, the quality of a good education. And what's interesting more recently, these companies are really focused on what they call the livability index, and that is the entire package. And he doesn't see it slowing down anytime soon for this city on the rise. Every project we compete for is enormously competitive. Cena Sleem. Every project today is competitive. News Channel 5. Thanks, Cena. Commissioner Rolf also says over the last five years, they've announced nearly 30 development projects in Williamson County, resulting in 4,000 jobs and more than $380 million in capital investment.